I guess you must have to ask the obvious question. My God, that was a big win, wasn't it? Holy cow, that was awesome. That was a great win for our program. You know, being tied with Western Northern, Ball State, and being able to overcome how we played at Ball State and win in five was unbelievable. Started off a little sluggishly. Actually, the last two matches, I, I don't know, I didn't see Ball State, but I saw Tuesday. And well, sluggish is the correct word, and that's how we played against Ball State and IPFW, and I kept telling the kids, we have another gear or two, you know, and we have to allow our defense to, to really dictate our offense and just go. And finally, we found that gear, and once we found we could have success with it, you know, it just really elevated everybody's play. Coach, talk a little bit about number six, Katie Aqu Aquella. Rachel, who had, uh, right, Rachel Iquinello. I'm sorry. Uh, I believe Rachel just broke the school record for number of kills in a match with 33. She broke Lindsay Piccolini's record. And we we need to get her the ball. And there were a few times that Ashley set somebody else. And I'm like, oh, set, uh, set Rachel, because she just has an electric arm. We set her 89 times, and that 33rd kill uh, was, was huge for us. The thing about Rachel is she had some unforced errors. And every time she had an unforced error, she came back and made the correction and got a kill. So she's growing up very quickly. And uh, it's nice to see her have success at the end of a match, especially a big match like this. Do you think that the defense is something that you're going to work on in the future? Uh, we've been playing awesome defense all year. Year. And Haley Stein has made the all-tournament team at two tournaments as libero, and that's very, very difficult. Uh, Haley broke a record tonight also. She had 55 digs, and that broke Ashley Cudney's record. So um, she's been ro a rock for us. And we have a nice mix of our freshmen are staying in there and learning the defense. And then we bring Cassie Sowers in. She did an awesome job. And then Colleen Lasecki, I thought, made some big digs for us and really provided a spark as well. But the defense is our forte. Well, you know, uh, harken back to what I saw at the Central match. I mean, they had every chance to fold up tonight, and they didn't. Well, the end of Game 4 was very difficult because what I thought we had set point, they called a phantom touch, and I think that ball was two foot above the block. So I wasn't quite sure how we would respond to that, and our kids kind of got angry about it. And, and just that extra uh, fortitude, I think, really pressed us through Game 4, and then I saw it again in f Game 5. Uh, they rose to the occasion again when uh, you know, they thought that there should have been a lift call and there wasn't. So I like the fight in the Eagles tonight. As far as pressure situations, they're playing a little above their age. Their maturity. There think? are times, you know, uh, there were a lot of times I turned to my staff tonight and said, oh, that was such a sophomore hit or oh, that was a freshman play. But then seeing them bounce back and learning from it is what's crucial. And being able to overcome some of the things we did. How many swings did we have at match point tonight? Before we actually won it. So we had repeated chances. I think Erin had a swing at it and she made an error. But then she came back and made a kill after that. So those are the things that are going to take us a long way. Anything we haven't talked about that you think is really important about tonight? Well, we highlighted those those uh, the kids that really broke some records, played great defense for us. And, you know, Ashley being a junior, being our quarterback and being our setter, I mean, she really just keeps everybody uh, kind of uh, what's a good word for it? Uh, just in system. Keep reminding them what she wants them to do, and she's a great court leader for us. Thank you.